Welcome race fans. Tonight GAC takes to Iowa for 125 laps in their truck series here. A great race in here. So hopefully uh, this will they'll put on a good show here for you. I know a lot of there's a lot of Iowa fans out there. And I think you're in for a good show here tonight. That's for sure. So uh, st thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. And these guys appreciate it. Pick a good driver. Stick with them and uh, try to try to root them on so uh, we'll be watching for these guys um, kind of waiting a little here for Scott to show up here he should be along here right directly and he'll go over the points with you but uh, thanks to iRacing for allowing us to uh, broadcast up to the iRacing portal we appreciate it very much and uh, I know we've got a sponsor video here I'll look that up here in just a minute and we'll play a bit, little short video for you here for their sponsor. So hang loose and thanks for joining us. Welcome. At Chris Fitzpatrick Off-Road, we offer the best in new and used Jeep Wrangler, CJ7, YJ, and TJ parts. Our rates are competitive with no hidden fees. We'll give you the attention and personal service you've come to expect and enjoy. Our employees are friendly and will be there to help you every step of the way. Please call or text us at 810-650-3206. Or visit us at www.cfoffroad.com. All right, we're about six minutes away from qualifying, folks. Uh, so don't go anywhere. The excitement's yet to come here at Iowa tonight.
All right, a little less than a minute and a half away from qualifying here at GAC. And again, thank you uh, all for tuning in. These guys will put on a good show here, I know. Uh, great league if you're thinking about possibly looking them up. Look up uh, GAC in the iRacing League directory and apply for the league. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up practice. And we're going to move on to qualifying. We're going to step away for just a quick minute here, and we will play our national anthem and be right back. Okay, welcome back here, folks, and uh, times are coming in. Uh, I got Scott Brinson in the booth with me here. Scott, did you want to run over the points? Yes, sir, Rudy. How you doing this evening, buddy? Very good. Good to see you, bud. You too, pal. Hope everyone out there in TV land is ready for a race here at your favorite racing facility. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was wondering if I was going to get at least a chuckle out of you on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's give everybody a quick rundown. Uh, Shane Gross comes in tonight as your points leader. He's got a five points lead over Dwayne LaFraud. Tom Clayton's in third. Johnny McCall chokes fourth in the points. Charles Smith, fifth. Dean Viney, sixth. Mark Kostick, seventh. Mark McFadden is eighth. Jim Locking, ninth. And we got a three way tie for 10th, Rudy. David Gainforce up four spots, and he's tied with John Stanley and James Tyler for 10th place. Man, that, that sounds like some pretty tight points. Yeah, 10th uh, is 74 points back. Uh, we only got three races to go. So uh, if they're going to make up any ground, they need to start doing it tonight because they're running out of time. Well, it looks like Dustin Golden takes the pole. 
Uh, Kevin Cornelius uh, was the fast, one of the fastest in practice. I was watching, uh, and uh, they had a couple of really good pit parties, Scott. I see you were out there turning some times. How does the truck feel on the track tonight? Feels pretty good as long as everybody takes care of their tires. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem getting around this track here tonight. But uh, as the tires start to fall off, we may start to see some cautions at that point because, you know, there's no room at this joint. So if somebody does have a problem, then, you know, we're probably going to have a caution. Yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see a, uh, a few cautions here. I don't think it's going to be over caution. Uh, we do have one new guy. No, I don't in, either. One new guy in there tonight, Scott. Brett Lay. Brett Lay, he is uh, right. brand new to the league tonight. He said he's just going to kind of ride around. He doesn't want to get up there and, you know, challenge anybody or anything tonight. You know, he wants to kind of get the feel of the guys. Older gentleman, really nice guy. Uh, I, I got to talk to him a little bit there uh, before we went live, and uh, he's going to fit right in well with these guys. Uh, a lot of older guys in this league, and uh, they know how to get it done. I'm showing uh, three new guys, really, Chris Aho and Rob Whitmore as well. Oh, probably, yeah. I, the only one I met was Brett Lay. I'm sorry. My bad. Okay. None of those guys have taken time. Uh, we got 23 that took time. It looks like we got about five or six that didn't. And all three of the new guys didn't take time. So we'll see if they all start now. Uh, Paul Zoda said he couldn't get in on time, but uh, they're disqualifying now, Paul. You could probably still make it. Better hustle. How much time they got left in qualifying, Scott? Uh, actually, oh. qualifying just in. Uh, there we go. Yep. It's over now. Too late. All right. Let's run down through the grid here, Scott. Starting on the pole. Dustin Golden with a 23.275. Congratulations to him for grabbing the pole. Kevin Cornelius starting second. Wayne Feldman in third. Michael Campbell fourth. Glenn McNeese fifth. Randy Bledsoe in sixth. David Gainforth seventh. Tom Clayton eighth. Johnny McCallchuck ninth. And Randy Perdue tenth. Scott? John Stanley will start 11th. Lyman Vanderweg will start 12th. Jim Locking 13th. Jeff Dotson 14th. Our buddy Mark McFadden, 15th. Charles Smith will start 16th. Uh, Shane Gross, our points leader, 17th. Kernan Church will start 18th. Michael Palmer, 19th. And Mark Koshik, 20th. Ready? All right, Gary Shank starting 21st. Dean Viney, 22nd. John Estes, 23rd. Uh, Jim Whaley, 25th. Chris Curtis Aho. Is that how you say that? 27th. Brett Lay back in 28th. Timothy Keller, 29th. Rob Whitmore, 30th. That rounded out the field. Wow, perfect. Yes, sir. 28th total. We'll see if they all start. Well, looking at it here, Rudy, it looks like they're running 75% fuel. They have one fast repair, and the DQ limit is 17 tonight. All right. So the official iRacing number. Our pole setter hasn't. There, he finally takes the grid. Dustin Golden. Well, get your friends and family in here to watch. Uh, tune in here every uh, Monday night. Watch GAC turn laps. Uh, they do run a, uh, a pretty good league here, I got to say. A pretty good, uh, uh, as far as rules and stuff like that, they're pretty strict on them. But they have a great, a great turnout every race. And uh, if you think you got what it takes, look them up on the iRacing Directory, GAC Racing League. Well, get us going tonight, buddy. I'll do it. After all, this is your favorite racetrack. Yeah, there we go. Two pace laps here they have. So one more time around, and then we're going to unleash, unleash them. Bunch of trucks out this little racetrack tonight. <laughs> yeah. 
well, let's just hope we don't see a lot of them, you know, get taken out right away. I, I, it's just kind of heartbreaking when you see guys out there, they spend so much time practicing and, and getting their trucks right. They paint them up really pretty and get them out there on the track and then, bang, they're out of the race. Uh, they have, what did you say, one reset? Yes, sir. Yeah. 125 laps to get around here with that one reset. That's a long one. Got to save that thing for as long as you can. For those of the, you you don't know, you do have the ability now. That's one of the last updates that you can uncheck that. All right, pace cars in. Hey, green, green, green. Seeing a couple guys out there blinking already. Yeah, that's never a good thing. For everything to get caught up here, it looks like Wayne Feldman was on the inside of Kevin Cornelius, but couldn't make it work. Goes back behind him. And it looks like we're going to get through lap number one, Rudy, without any incidents. Everybody made it through lap number one. Good right. deal, guys. That's a good thing. Yeah, Tom Clayton now getting passed up by David Gainforth. David in the spam machine. Out there spamming the track again this week, Scott. <laughs> you and that spam thing, Rudy. <laughs> I know. Johnny McCulchuck, 10th place. Wearing that joke out like an old pair of basketball shoes. Yeah, time for a look. Time to look for a new one. <laughs> oh, we got somebody in the wall. Oh, I've seen that. It looked like Kernan Church, I believe, was it? Or this is 17 of Kevin Cornelius. Oh, okay. Up here in Kevin. second place. Oh, okay. I didn't see that one. He's still He's on the wall. His position, though. Wow, he was still on the wall, though. Thank goodness uh, Wayne Feldman kind of gave him that little bit of slack there to get it caught up and get it off the wall. Three wide back here. Kind of dropping back. Len McNeese, fourth place. Michael Campbell, fifth. Oh, we got one spin and he saves it though. On the front stretch, the three, Jeff Hudson. Good save, Jeff. He's going to lose a lot of that positions. A lot of position. Yeah, but he saved <laughs> yeah. yeah, good job. Yeah, he goes back. Gary Shanks back out there tonight, Rudy. We haven't seen him in about a month. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. That's good to see him back out there on the track. He's always competitive. So we're going to look here and see if he's in 18th right now, but that's a good place for him right now. He, he's, uh, he's in his safe zone right now. He's got plenty of room to... Uh, Get up to the front, plenty of time, lots of laps left. You can pick them off one at a time. One that He's going to get another one right now. Our points leader is about to go by Shane Gross. Shane Gross marred way back in this field. Yeah. Jim Whaley going to go by Shane Gross. So Shane Gross dropping here. He's only got a five points lead, five point lead coming into tonight's race, and he's way back there right now. Well, Dustin Golden, leading all the laps so far, has pulled out to an eight-tenths of a second lead over Kevin Cornelius. Yeah, Rudy, I just realized that uh, Dwayne LaProd's not here tonight, so uh, second Ooh. place in the points didn't show up tonight. Oh, that's not good. wonder what happened. No, maybe, sir. Maybe he had to work late? Maybe, uh, I don't know. He had to uh, maybe get caught in traffic or something. Because I know a lot of That's nights, he, yeah, he barely makes it in there on time. Oh! Len McNeese almost going around, but he saves it, goes back a, to eighth place. Looks like he may have caught that white line or the yellow line, whichever, whatever color. Oh, oh we, we got, got a spinner, Tom, Tom Clayton. Clayton. Good save. Yeah, it was. He was completely sideways. Now, somebody down below, Tom. Oh, Len McNeese was down there. The track. Whoa. That was close. Yeah, Len McNeese took a dive right in there, and whoo, man, that, that would have been bad. They were almost three wide. 
I'm sure the five of Randy Purdue didn't appreciate that much either. No, I don't think so. He was like, "Man, I'm on the I'm on the receiving end of this," and he said, "This is not going to come out good for me." So. Yeah, he would have <laughs> been the one on the receiving of it had it went really bad. Yep, Len McNeese gets by Randy and Len back into seventh. Randy back to eighth. David Gainforth, Johnny McCulchuk still riding in ninth and tenth. Uh, Johnny riding in a new paint job here tonight, uh, sporting our sponsor, CF Off-Road Racing, or off -road, what is it, offroadracing.com, offroad.com, I believe it is. We'll get down here in just a second, see if we can catch a glimpse of that. There you go, cfoffroad.com. That's our sponsor for this season. And Rudy, just to check in again with Shane Gross, our points leader coming in at the night, he continues to fall back through the field. I wonder if that's by design or... It almost looks like it. Yeah. He's not really battling it up too hard with anybody, and I know Shane's got a lot more in that truck than what he's showing right now, but uh, you know some people, Scott, uh, may, this track just might not be on one of his favorites list here. I don't know. Not on mine. I know that, but you know well, that. He knows, <laughs> he knows that Dwayne didn't show up tonight, so basically Tom is 18 points back, so he's racing Tom. That's his closest competitor now. Yeah, Tom Clayton, yeah, and he's up to six, so... That's about 12 points that he'll chop off and he'll cut about two-thirds of that lead right off, so Shane needs to get moving towards the front. Well, Kevin Cornelius is about to have company here as Wayne Feldman's closed that door up on him. And he's uh, might be looking to get by Kevin here. I know Kevin was up into the wall earlier, does have a little bit of right front damage on his truck. I'm just kind of wondering how much that's going to come into play because here goes Wayne Feldman around the outside. And he can't make it stick up there. Oh, we got a wreck. We got, no, he saved it. 48 saved it. 41 got into the back of 48, but McFadden saved it. Good save, Mark. Wow. That That's was close. Caution free so far, and we want to keep it that way if we can. A 33. Wow, McFadden was sideways Man. there, Rudy. Koshik. Koshik looking underneath him, trying to take that position. Does have the line. Looks like he is going to complete the pass. Dean Viney, we haven't talked about him tonight. Brand new paint job on that truck. Facebook. Tom Clayton's up to fifth now, Rudy, as he gets past Randy Bledsoe. Very good. He's moving forward. He's trying to capitalize on that point advantage with uh, McFa or, uh, with uh, Dwayne LaPrade not being here tonight. Yes, sir. And Gross Mart back in the field. He's chopping off points right now. He sure is. Rob Whitmore back 24th. Gary Shank 25th. John Estes 26th. Timothy Kelleher 27th. And running out the field a couple laps down already. Uh, Lyman Vanderweg. How he got a couple laps down. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Oh, Rudy, the number 15. Up oh, there we go. We got our first caution yes, of the evening. Do. It looks like Bledsoe. I was just about to say, the number 15, one of our new guys here, Curtis Aho, he was up there uh, out of the three new guys running 14th and the highest out of the, all the three new guys. Well, let's see what happened here to uh, Randy Purdue, but I'm not sure who he got it. Somebody got into it with him. They're along in here somewhere. Going into turn one, I believe it was. Yeah, right here. Looks like uh, Bledsoe kind of come down the hill into Randy Purdue. I know Randy was kind of pushing him up the hill a little bit there, and Bledsoe really didn't have much much choice but to come down, but I don't think he knew uh, Randy was right there. Now here they all come, Rudy. Yes, sir. Give me four Mr. Field Goods, please. Brand new leader, Michael Campbell. 
stays out, I guess, to collect that bonus point. And there goes the lucky dog. Or be uh, Lyman Vanderway. Lyman. Yep. Yes, sir. He got one of his laps. Actually, I think he was just one lap down. All right, everybody's out of there. Looks like Dean Viney stays out as well. But Dustin Golden will come off pit road first. Kevin Cornelius second. Wayne Feldman third. Now let's see if uh, Michael Campbell and Dean Viney come to pit road. Like Michael Campbell is, but Dean Viney's going to stay out to get that bonus point. Yep, yeah, lead a lap. Sporting a Facebook paint scheme tonight yeah. there, Rudy. From yeah. Number 71. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Changing it up. Now we'll see if Dean Pitt, <coughs> Pitt's here. I imagine he would. Well, if he, if he pits, he'll get a penalty and have to start at the end of the longest line, but he, he would be at the back anyhow, so. Yep. But, yeah, we'll see if he does pit. Gosh, I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't think he'd want to stay out there with them old tires knowing everybody behind him's got brand new tires. I don't know. He's going to stay out. Yeah, looks like he's going to do exactly that. He's not scared, Rudy. Is that the Legends Oval right there on the front stretch? Right that off little access road yeah, right there? Yeah, but by... No it's, no, it's just a little road that runs right there in front of the pit wall. Okay, because it kind of looks like an oval right there. It looks like a... Like a yeah, no Dwayne LaPrade. Yeah, people in uh, chat wondering where Dwayne's at tonight. We're, we don't know. We were hoping he would be here. I'd really like to talk to Dwayne, but, uh, well, maybe he'll be along after a while. I don't know. Maybe he'll be along uh, before the show's over. Maybe we'll get a chance to talk to him and say, where the heck you been, Dwayne? No, just kidding. Well, it's unfortunate that being five points back in the points lead that he couldn't make it tonight. I know that's going to yeah. not sit well with him. Yeah, that's got to really hurt. So it must be something really important. We just hope all's well, you know. I mean, hope nothing, it's nothing serious. Put it that way. Well, it looks like the lights are going to go off on the pace car. We're going back green next time, Scott. So you know what that means. Your turn. Time to go race. See how long Dean Viney can hold these boys off with them older tires. He had about 21 laps on them before the caution came out. One hundred laps to go when we go green. Here for GAC, race number eight of the 10 race season. As the season winds down, who will win here at Iowa? Pace cars off. The green flag is out. Dean got a pretty good start there. He didn't spin him or anything. Well, it must feel pretty good on him older tires, but it Look looks it. like, yeah, these guys are just going to eat him for lunch here. Already, yeah, already right. back to third. You see Dustin Golden drive by him like he was sitting still? Yep. Yeah, Kevin Cornelius trying to figure out a way, and he's going to go to the bottom and get around Dean as well. And here comes Tom Clayton. The whole gang's going by. That's not a good feeling, Rudy. No. At least uh, Dean's staying up out of the way and letting everybody go. He knows he's on older tires and... Must be a little and just as we were going to 
Just as we were going to caution there, Rudy, I was about Curtis Aho, and don't look now, but he's on that high side. He's right behind Dean Vidi, and he's working his oh, way up through the field. We got a spinner, Len McNeese. He keeps it off of the track. Oh, but caution, caution. does come out. Let's, uh, let's go back here and catch up with Len. If I can find him, where the heck did he go? Oh, I don't know. We can't find him now. We got a couple. Oh, the one that Gary Shank spun around too. That's what actually brought the caution out. Now let's go back and look and see what happened here to Gary Shank. Uh, he's actually because uh, Len was way down off the track. He was down in the grass, and for whatever reason here, uh, Gary Shank. Oh, he caught the yellow line, and that really upset that truck. He's the one that actually what? brought the caution out because he spun right around in front of traffic. Well, that's not good that both times we started talking about the new guy brought the caution out. It's oh, not a yeah. good sign. No, not really. <laughs> What's going on with that? <laughs> I don't know. But Curtis has worked his way up into the top ten just to follow up on how he's doing here tonight. It's his first race here at GAC, and he's up into the top ten. Yeah, he's doing really good. Hold it. Gonna have to be careful he doesn't get any spam on that truck. I wish I wish David would go back to the the Mr. Bubble machine. He said that uh, he was going to uh, change that up a couple of times this season, so we'll have to see if he does. Running out of spam jokes, Rudy? No, I just really like the <laughs> Mr. Bubble machine. I'm just giving you hard. I know. We always look forward to seeing that. No matter what they ran, if they ran the Indy cars, he had a Mr. Bubble paint scheme for that. Uh, the trucks, uh, I think the super late models, the B car, everything he had was uh, uh, Mr. Bubble. But it is a pretty unique paint job, though. I mean, spam. I've never seen another one. No, I won't either. Well, everybody stayed out, Scott. Looks like Dustin Golden will be uh, our leader again. Wayne Feldman second. Kevin Cornelius third. Tom Clayton fourth. Johnny McCallchuck up to fifth. Randy Purdue sixth. David Gain fourth seventh. Chris Curtis Aho in eighth place. Jim Locking ninth. And Shane Gross, our points leader, back into the top ten. And yeah, Rudy, they only had about three green flag laps on those tires, so the tires are all relatively fresh. Right. And uh, no no reason to really go in a pit. Nope, I agree. You're not in the fuel window to make it this the way, so no need. I agree. The well, computer's running a little warm tonight. I don't know why. Oh well, it'll get cooled off when we're done. <laughs> so Dustin Golden back out front now has led 26 laps. And at the race summary, we've had, this is a caution number two, and we've had three lead changes. Well, we'll have to remember the next caution, Scott. We've got to get down there and talk to somebody. A little bit late now because they're going to be getting the one to go. But uh, we've got to remember to talk to somebody next time, okay? All right. Remind me. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, thank you. I get kind of zoned out. i got about 20 things I'm doing here at the same time, so... Uh, the paint isn't right again. Whose paint's not right, Eric? I've, I've updated trading paint several times, but I can do it again. Do it again just for the heck of it. Saying that something, of the, one of the paints is not right. I don't know, could be something. I know there's been some up and down problems with trading paints uh, this past week since they got it back up. I don't know if they're still struggling to try to get some uh, some problems worked out or what, but uh, hopefully they get that working. I know them guys work awful hard to, to, to get that back up for us, and we appreciate all the work that they've done doing that, too. 
All right, Scott, we're about to go back green flag racing here. Hope we can get some green flag laps in here. Hope the cautions don't breed more cautions. You, you know how this place can breed a lot of cautions in a hurry. Oh, yeah. Like breeding roaches. Turn the lights on, they're everywhere. <laughs> uh, the 47 and the 126, huh? Well, we'll check them out here in a minute. The pace car's in. And green, green, green. Well, I... Yeah, I, well, we've got some guys that are in there playing white, too, and I talked to them, and they said that's what their truck is. They lost their paints that they had. I don't know if Dustin lost his or what. Kevin Cornelius going for second place. Oh! oh he's bad. Right in front of my call, Chuck's going to Oh, oh that's... Get them. Yep. A bunch of them. <laughs> Oh, oh my, nobody's checking up on that one. Holy smokes. Let's go back and see what happened. I'm I'm going to guess and say I think he caught the the white line or yellow line. You know what? That's what I was talking about, Rudy. Somebody yep. turned the lights on. Everybody went everywhere. Nope, he didn't. He just turned it down a little bit too sharp and got into it. And McCall Chuck gets into it. And it's on from there. David Gainforth. Shane Gross, our points leader, gets into it. Oh, Timothy Kelleher. Vincent Viney. Oh, man, we got everybody's into that. Golly, man, that's that's terrible. That was a heck of a wreck there. It looks like Kevin Cornelius took a behind the wall, and our leader is bringing them all to pit road. Yep, 17 is getting a beat on traffic tonight. Well, John Stanley's going to stay out. Looks like he's uh, going to collect a point there for leading that lap. After all, Rudy, it is a long trip to California because that's where these boys will be next week at Autocom. Yeah. That's one and of my... The finale, the week there. That's one of my favorite tracks. I do like that one. Well, it'll be at the end of the week of that for the championship. I unfortunately won't be here to call that race, but uh, I'll be watching it. Well, we had a couple of... Uh, who was that? Charles Smith took two tires. Michael Campbell took two tires. So some guys are uh, trying the two-tire trick. Well, who do you want to talk to? Uh, how about... Let me look. How about one of the new guys? We haven't we talked in a while. All right. How about Curtis Aho? All right. Is he in TeamSpeak here? That I don't know. I don't see him. He'll have to interview him in the room there. Well, let me see if I can uh, get a hold of them here. Give me a second. Finish. Curtis Aho, you got a copy. Hey, how's it going? Well, good that uh, good to see you out there on the track. Uh, how's your truck feeling here tonight as you're coming to pit road? Sorry to bother you on that one. Feeling good. All right, well, we'll let you get back to work here because I know you're, you know, I want you to stay focused on the race here and I don't want to mess up your pit stop, but uh, good luck for the rest of the race, Curtis. We're watching you, buddy. Good job out there tonight. Thank you. I want to give a shout out to my girlfriend watching. Ah, very cool, very cool. Yeah, we always like to have our faithful viewers on YouTube, so very cool. Hopefully, and she enjoys the show. Sounds good. Hope you get back up to the front. All right, he's going to try to get back up to the front. And we got a new leader, Jeff Dotson. Hey. How, how about that, huh? Yeah. New uh, paint job on his truck he's had for a few weeks now. Nationwide, uh, I think that's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. paint scheme. Old Dale Earnhardt Jr. paint scheme because now he's running Exalta. Oh, we'll see if he can hold these boys off. We saw how that last restart went. Jeff didn't pit on that pit stop, correct? No, he did not. Him and Michael Palmer stayed out. 
Uh, we saw last time when Dean Viney stayed out how they ate him up pretty quickly. Nowhere yeah. near as many laps this time, but there are some laps on those tires. Looks like he's going to take the high side here. Well, that might be a good call. Might Try to get call. that momentum. We yeah. saw Dustin Golden get that momentum on that last restart. Well, he's going to be in command of the start here, so uh, he can probably get a good jump on Michael Palmer right there. And uh, going into turn one, he should be able to drop it right down low and uh, maintain that lead. Easier said than done, Rudy. Yeah. Uh, somebody saying that the number 12 looks good, the paint scheme. Uh, let me find it here. John Stanley. Yes, I do like that. Skull Bandit. All right. We're about to go back green here, folks. Well, Put Eric. Fingers crossed, Rudy. Eric, I think, has turned in to be one of our... Uh, followers here uh, he's uh, tuning in a lot of night pace cars in and green 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 they take the green here on lap 40 oh the 81 didn't get a good restart at all mark mcfadden putting on a good run right there to the inside of 47 oh john estes Yeah, Dustin Golden trying to work his way back up through the field. Looks like he's going to get by Charles Smith. He's Boy, on the move. A lot of guys really loose off of the turn right there, if you notice, Scott. Boy, they're wadded up back here. Michael Campbell. Oh, 81 almost lost it. They saved it right in front of the whole field. I mean, what a pack of trucks right here. Yeah, everybody right on top of each other right now. Yeah, this is a quite, quite, uh, Shane Gross right along here with Shane Gross for a minute and watch these pack of trucks up ahead of them. We got guys high, guys low. We haven't even reached the halfway point yet, Rudy. These guys are racing hard, so it's still the first half of the race. <laughs> they sure are. Gary Shank into the top ten. And I think Tom Clayton's going to take that away from him right now. Tom got a good run off of turn four. We got challenge for the lead, Rudy. Dustin Golden looking on Jeff Dotson here, trying to get by. Boy, Jeff had pulled way away from the field. And yes, it is. He is going to take the lead here. That's those fresher tires. Yep, Jeff did lead that lap, though. But Golden's going to take it away from him. Jeff's still doing a good job being that far out in front of the rest of the field, holding these guys off on older tires. That's a great job by yeah. Dotson. And to pull away by that much, he's got a 1.4 second lead over third place, Randy Bledsoe. He was just sandbagging back in the back earlier. I think so. <laughs> Boy, Mark McFadden really loose off of four. Randy Bledsoe's had a nice recovery. He's back to third place. He almost spun a few laps ago. Yeah, he's doing real well. Well, look now, but here comes Gary Shank, the seventh. Yeah, he's moving up through the field, picking them off. Oh, we got a wreck oh, back wreck. there. Oh, I, and they're going to wreck some more. I seen it right there. Uh, Lyman Vanderwagen. Boy, with lots of guys in the back of the field going to get into that one. And we were talking about guys that, you know, when they, they try to maintain and stay back a little bit so they can stay out of the wrecks. Sometimes the wrecks happen back in the field. And Jim Locking is sending smoke signals down the back stretch. Now, Len, Len, McNeese, have to use his reset. Len McNeese on the outside of Lyman here, and it looks like Len comes down right into Lyman, and that starts the whole ball of rolling right here. Len's going to go up the hill. Lyman gets into Tom Clayton just a little, back out into Len McNeese, and, and that's on from there. I think we're going to have more guys get into it here. He, they come back down the track right in front of traffic. Kolchuk just barely slips by. The 91 gets into him. Oh, man, we got a lot of them back into it here. Wayne Feldman. Oh, man. Tough break for these guys. And 
Vanderweg is dog tracking coming down pit road. I mean, he's got some serious damage on that truck. I mean, that thing, wow, I don't even know how he's even driving that thing. Hopefully he's got a reset. Let's see if he's got a reset. Having trouble getting into his pit stall here because it's, that truck is so jacked up. I'm thinking he has a reset, maybe. I don't know. He surely ain't going to come off pit road like that, I can guarantee it. No, he's sitting there for getting that fixed up. But leader, Dustin Golden again. 34 laps, and I think we better talk to somebody. Oh, who you want to talk to, Rudy? Michael Palmer, you got a copy. Is he even there? He's talking to you in the race channel. Uh, no, in, in team speak here, buddy. Yeah, Rudy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, how's your race going for you tonight, Michael? Pretty good. I didn't get a good qualifying run there, but the truck's handling great. I'm um, just trying to save my tires and stay out of trouble here. Well, I think that's going to be the key here at Iowa tonight, uh, keeping the truck clean and try to be there at the end. Well, you're in 11th. Not a bad place to be right now. Uh, you're not even at the halfway mark, so lots of racing to go, buddy. Yeah, I'm just going to try to keep it clean. All right. Well, we're going to wish you good luck out there. And uh, just stay out of, the, out of the mess and keep it clean, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. All righty. Sorry about that, Scott. I just seen uh, him right there, and I thought I'll just grab him. Oh, that works, Rudy. Sorry. Well, back up front here, Dustin Golden. We should be getting the one to go this time by, and we'll be back green flag racing. Lots of people in here watching. That's great. Take a look at uh, the race summary here. This is caution number four. Had six lead changes. The guy's been on the move here tonight. Has been our leader, Dustin Golden. He's came from the back uh, two times now, and has marched right back up to the front. Yeah, he definitely looks to be the class of the field. He won last week, and he's looking to make it in a row tonight. Yeah, when you come off of that that win, you know, Scott, you've been a winner, and and you come off that win, boy, it's just uh, you know, you're just pumped up, and you're ready to go right at it again the next week. Yeah, it definitely carries over into a race or two after that, and it just, you build from there, unless something bad, you know, breaks the streak, and then it's just kind of, let's get the momentum going again, but, yeah, it definitely carries over. That's a... Oh, those lights are out. Interesting paint job on Charles Smith there. Me. <laughs> M.E. Hmm. Okay. Huh. All right, get him going, Scott. All right, buddy. This car is off. Green flag is that we're racing again at Iowa. Dustin Golden takes the green flag and leads us down the front stretch. We're racing again here for GAC. Dotson looking strong. He didn't pit again that time, Rudy. He's still out there on them old tires, and he's looking strong. Check that out. Yeah, I know. He's only been on pit road once today, and he's, I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing it right. Yeah, he is. Oh, okay, Eric says that's a Ricky Bobby paint scheme on the number 30. Me. <laughs> Gosh, I'm going to have to watch that movie again. I've forgotten all that stuff. John Stanley, fifth place in the Skull Bandit. I've only seen that movie one time, and it was right after it first came out. That's why I didn't know what it was. Kolchak now under fire over with him. John Estes. Estes underneath him. 
Boy, what a gaggle of trucks back here. Our points leader mired right in the middle of that. Shane Gross. Oh, we got a couple of them into the wall. Current Church. They're wrecking again. Tom Clayton's wrecking. We should have another caution, and yep. we do. What is that, number five, Rudy? Yes, it is. I'm going to go back here and look because I see Mark McFadden. I think he got loose or something off of the turn right there, and he got up into somebody. Oh, we're almost still wrecking up here. Oh, we got one spun around up here. Hopefully nobody hits him. They were all trying to check up and couldn't get checked up. It's John Estes. It's sideways. Yeah, he. Uh, that's what happened. Mark McFadden. I think somebody might have turned him. Mark McFadden? No, John oh. Estes. He got oh. spun around back here. Oh, okay. Well, Tom Clayton gets put into the wall. Mark McFadden put Tom Clayton hard into the wall right there. And I think that's, uh, I think that took Tom right out of the race. I think he, uh. Yep, he disconnected. Yep. Oh, brother. Lyman Vanderweg's also out of the race. So, all right, back up to our leader. We're not even halfway yet, Rudy. Yeah, this is, uh, well, this is Iowa. Why, why I don't like Iowa. <laughs> Caution number five. All right, Scott, we're going to, real quick here, we're going to play a commercial and be right back. we got to play this for these guys. This is for their sponsor. We'll be right back. Welcome. At Chris Fitzpatrick Off-Road, we offer the best in new and used Jeep Wrangler, CJ7, YJ, and TJ parts. Our rates are competitive with no hidden fees. We'll give you the attention and personal service you come to expect and enjoy. Our employees are friendly and will be there to help you every step of the way. Please call or text us at 810-650-3206. Or visit us at www.cfoffroad.com. All right, Scott, we're back. Some guys on pit road there, Rudy. Who's on pit road? It's like Lynn McNeese, Wayne Feldman. Uh, Gainforth. Wow. Jim Whaley. A lot of good drivers out. Rob Whitmore. No, these guys are just making pit stops. Oh, okay. Gainforth is sitting there. I'm not sure. There he goes. He might have been getting some damage fixed, but they're all rolling again. Just making pit stops here under caution. Yeah, because I know he did, David, get, he did get into that. David's still got some damage all over his truck. I don't know if he's already burned up his reset or if he's just going to save it with all the carnage that's going on, but uh, the 101 is definitely still heavily damaged. Well, it is survival of the fittest. Yes, that is the idea at Iowa. I personally love this place. Well, I'm glad you do. One of my favorite tracks. <sighs> No problem, Eric. Hey, we got to help these guys pay the bills, you know. Is your mic stuck here, Scott? Scott. Is that better? Yeah, it was like stuck open or something. Yeah, sometimes it'll do that. Yeah, it's still stuck open. Might have to, you might have to yeah. close, completely close TeamSpeak out and restart it, maybe. Yeah, because it's not shutting off. All right. You'll be right back. Just completely close it out. Oh, there it goes. All right, folks, here we go. Getting them lined up. There you go. Much better, huh? 
Now uh, you can't talk? Oh, Scott might be having mic issues, but we're going back green here, folks. He'll get it figured out. Pace cars in. There we go. There we go. Had to unplug my wheel. And green, green, green. And Jeff Dotson still out there, Scott. Look at this. Charles Smith to the inside. Did he not fit? I uh, no. Wow. At, least, at least it's not showing here. And that may That's not crazy. be that may not be a hundred percent accurate, but you know I just got to go by what it what it's telling me. These guys are racing hard up front. Yes, sir. Randy Purdue, fourth place. John Stanley, fifth. Johnny McCallchuck to the inside. Boy, look at this battle up here. Charles Smith and Jeff Dotson going at it. Yeah, don't look now. Here comes Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Ricky Bobby coming into the picture, huh? Yes, sir. Right behind him is that Skull Bandit machine of John Stanley. Look at him moving up through the field. Yeah, he's come up through quite a bit. Right now, Johnny McCallchuck on the outside of Randy Bledsoe. And Gary Shank right in behind him. Look at Kern and Church weaving up through the field. Now, he was caught up in that wreck there earlier between him and Len McNeese. And uh, he must have used his oh, reset. There goes the five. Fives in the grass. Yep. No caution. He gets it straightened out, but boy, tough break for Randy Purdue. And Golden. This got time it. by will be halfway. He's got a 2.1 second lead over Charles Smith in second place. There's definitely a race going on behind the 47, that's for sure. Yes, sir. One heck of a battle back there. Kern and Church, Randy Bledsoe, and Gary Shank into it. They're all looking to see if they can figure out a way to get around Johnny McCulchuck as Kern and Church tries it. And Rudy, not far back behind this pack is another pack of trucks, about eight to ten of them that are back here battling as well. Led by Jim Locking and John Estes. Here comes Curtis Aho. Feldman's back here. Yeah, this is one heck of a battle going on too. Yeah, you are right. And we have another caution. Oh, and it's John Stanley, and the 31 oh. hits him as he's parked. Oh, no. Yeah, Kernan Church gave him a little tap in the side there. Let's go see what happened. Is that caution number six, Rudy? I'm um, not sure yet. Hold on. Can't remember if that's six or seven. Kernan Church drove it in there really hard. And it looks like he just come up the hill into, right into John Stanley. Well, I think John's going to have minimal damage on his truck. He should be okay. Dustin Golden will be our leader here. Let's see if he brings him. Yes, he is coming to pit road. And Jeff Dotson is still not coming to pit road. Nobody's coming to pit road but our leader, Dustin Golden. Are you kidding me? Well, you got some guys in the back that are coming down pit road, Rudy. Yeah, well, that's probably a good call. Well, Charles Smith stays out and leads that lap. Oh, he gets a bonus point. I guess they're doing everything they can to keep Golden behind them. Uh, must be. Got a lot Whatever of it takes, man. <laughs> Pirate rules. Dustin Golden, four-tire change for him. Randy Bledsoe, still on pit road. Four-tire change for him. Looks like he's going to sit there for a minute. Try to get a little damage fixed up. And he he's finally away. He'll come out 13th. But I am impressed with uh, the run that Jeff Dotson is having tonight. Uh, what do you think about talking to him? 
Yeah, let's definitely talk to him and ask him what his what his secret is. Yeah, I'm telling you. See where he got them tires from. Hey, Jeff, you got a copy? Yes, I do, Rudy. Go ahead, Scott. We're gonna have to call you in for inspection, Jeff. Oh, why do you say that? Because <laughs> we can't figure out how it is. You've only been out there on one pit stop, and you're making these boys look slow. <laughs> yeah, I just uh. They're washing the fuel away. It ain't running out, so I'm staying out. I think the pace laps here in the caution that we've been having is keeping the fuel in the tank air, so uh, I'm staying out here. My tires don't feel like they're wearing out any, so I'm going to stay out as long as I can and uh, get a good run here. I was going to say, obviously, you're taking care of those tires tonight. Yeah, trying to and trying to stay up front as well. Is this one of your favorite racetracks? You like racing here? Uh, it's It's okay. Uh, this is my first time racing trucks here, but, uh, you know, it's a new experience, and I'm, I'm liking it so far. Well, I would be too, man. You're definitely putting on a clinic out there right now, showing them how to take care of tires and uh, making it work. What's the plan for the rest of the way? Uh, just hopefully this, uh, maybe one more caution can come in here and play an effect, and uh, I hope it doesn't, but it might help me on a pit stop strategy here, and I'll pull it into the race. I might take in some tires, but if it still feels good, I'll try to go the rest of the way. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, I'll let you catch your breath and uh, get yourself ready. Go get him, man. You're putting on yeah. a show so far. Thank you very much. Very good. Great, great job so far tonight. Uh, I'm number three. I'm impressed. See if he can't bring that thing to victory lane tonight. Well, Michael Campbell will be starting third. Len McNeese fourth. Dustin Golden back in fifth with four fresh tires. Kernan Church in 6th, Gary Shank 7th, Shane Gross our points leader in 8th, Jim Locking ninth, and Curtis Aho keeps working himself a little closer to the front every time. Now rounding out the top 10. Back in the top 10. And we are past the halfway, Rudy. Very good. When we take the, we take the green flag, we'll have 50 laps to go. Well, Tom Clayton out of the race. Man, what a bummer for him. Oh, how about that for Shane Gross? Where's Shane Gross sitting? Back in eighth? Seventh. Well, Dwayne LeBron didn't show up. Tom Clayton's out of the race. So this is going to be a big points night for our points leader. Yeah, I guess he is eighth. I'm sorry. My bad. Well, the leader right now is going to start on the outside again. So let's see how this works. Uh, they've been having pretty good... Uh, Pretty good starts on the outside, so pace cars in, and green, green, green. Well, I'll tell you what, Rudy, old Charles Smith won the GAC Super Late Model race last week. I wouldn't be surprised to see him in victory lane at the end of this one as well. Uh -huh. You see the 47, he's already showing his muscle again. He's coming up on that bottom side. Boy, what happened, what happened there? Jeff? Whoa, Jeff. And, whoa, he is going to come to pit road. I think he said, you know what? Enough's enough of them tires. Yeah. Wow. Cooled off. All right. So, well, that changes up everything up in the front here. Now, Unfortunately, Dustin, he's going to have to make a green flag pit stop oh. to it. Kerner Church is wrecking. He saves it. Yeah, he did. He got whoa. damaged, but he didn't bring out the caution. Oh, a looked. lot of spots. Yes, he did. Jim Locking now in sixth place, and this is quite the gaggle of trucks up in front here. And look at Gary Shank put the move on Charles Smith. And another hey, brand right. new leader, Len McNeese. I was going to say, Len McNeese right now out in front being chased by that 47. I'm sure Len's feeling stalked right now by the 47. Oh, no doubt. Here he comes. Look at the big run he gets through the corner. Here's Jeff Dotson coming out of the pits. They're going to come up on him. 
Well, that was a very quick pit stop for Jeff, but he uh, is one lap down, and they're about to put him two laps down when they close up on him. Hey, he could use a caution. That's a tough break for Jeff, man. I was excited for him. I was rooting for him, but yeah, that tire cooled off, and when they tried to get back up the speed there, there was no go. Oh, he's still side by side up here in the front. And Lynn ain't giving up. No, he isn't. He's got a great run there. He, he's just on the line every time, it seems like. And Dustin's really having a hard time getting by him, and all he's doing is burning up his tires by keeping doing that. I think that's what Lynn's trying to do, make him burn up his tires, slow him down a little bit. That'd be my plan. Yeah. Whatever you got to do to slow Dustin down, I don't know. That's it. That's <laughs> it, man. Power rules, I'm telling you. That's racing. Whatever it takes. And there you say he lost his momentum and Lynn's going to hold him off for the time being. Yep. And Dustin loose coming off of the turn has to fall in behind him. Dustin riding right here right in front of him. They're slowly catching Jeff Hudson though. Yeah, Jeff's trying to get some heat built up in them tires now so he can get back up there. And he's really going to try to stay ahead of them. Curtis Aho now in fourth place, so he's coming forward. Jim Whaley, we haven't talked about Jim tonight. Here he is in the top five. Look at that, man. Good, good showing for Jim tonight. Here we are side by side for the lead again, Rudy, down the front stretch. I think the 47 is going to get him this time. Yep, Lynn's going to have to drive it high in there, and 47 is going to get by. He did get by Jeff Dotson, puts Jeff two laps down now. Well, Dustin has definitely uh, been the guy to, to fear out here tonight at Iowa. Well, he's put on a heck of a show for these guys. Uh, Kerna Church trying to get back into things there after slipping. He comes up on Charles Smith. Johnny McCallchuck, quite a ways back in 12th. Michael Campbell, 13th. Mark McFadden, 14th. John Stanley finally getting back into the mix here. 15th place. And he's still got quite a bit of damage on that Skull Bandit. Well, Len McNeese falls back about nine-tenths of a second from Dustin. We're about to complete the 80-second lap already, so good running here so far in the show here. We've had six cautions, Scott. Six cautions. Yeah, now that it's kind of leveled out a little bit now, and we're getting some green flag laps in here. You see the racing's pretty good once we get everything leveled out. Yeah, everybody's getting spread out here really good. I think they've figured out that with the best racing that they're going to have is just to try to go single file for a while and pick one off here and there wherever you can. You know, it's about the best you can do. Randy Bledsoe. No D mining, just to check in with him. We saw him up there earlier in the front of this race, but uh, he's back here in 24th position now. It's been a tough night as the nights wore on for the 71. Yeah, and he's a couple of laps down, too. That's We've got uh, several of them a couple laps in, uh, down. Uh, Jeff Dodson, Wayne Feldman, Dean Viney, and Timothy Kelleher. Timothy is about four laps down. A tough break for Wayne Feldman. Man, I don't know what happened there, but Mark Koshik, uh, he is a lap down. He was involved in one of those wrecks, and he just really has not been up to speed. Everybody's going by him. He's giving him the whole bottom part of the track to go by. John Estes falls back to the 19th place. Brett Lay, we haven't talked about him either, Scott. The new guy, one of the new guys out here. Back in 20th place. He's, I talked to him before the race here tonight, and he said that he was just going to kind of take it easy here. First night with the guys, and 
Oh, you got the 81 on the wall, Rudy. He's riding the wall. Sorry to interrupt you there. Oh, you're all right. You need blood so. Yeah, Shane Gross, he's uh he's picking off one here and there. He's trying to at least have a good finish now. The thing of it is, Dwayne LaPrade not here. That's gonna extend that lead out. Tom Clayton out of the race, Scott. He's gonna extend this lead out quite a little bit. Yeah, with the more positions that he gains, that's just another point that he's gonna put there between himself and second place, whoever that might be next week, going into next week's race with just two races remaining. Yeah. Yeah, season about to come to a close here. Two more. Let's see, they're running, uh, what do you say? Uh, Auto Club. Auto Club next week, and then they go to Indianapolis. Yes, sir. Ooh. That's one of your favorite tracks. Yeah, I'll actually be flying into Indianapolis that day, so uh, it's kind of ironic. But I won't be here to call the race. I'll be in Indiana, so but uh, I'll be watching that night, buddy. Very good, very good. Charles Smith back in tenth. Johnny McCallchuck eleventh. He's trying to get back into the top ten here, but he's really been having a tough time. Randy Bledsoe, way off the pace back here, twelfth place. Mark McFadden. Mark Kostick's on pit road. Unscheduled pit stop. He is a couple of laps down, but uh, Rob Whitmore, 19th position. And speaking of the new guys, Rudy, Ooh. how about Curtis Aho up here in third place in the number 15? He's got front end damage, but he's still holding his own up here in front of Jim Whaley running third. Good debut race for Curtis. Absolutely. I just seen uh, Brett Lay there catch the yellow line, and uh, boy, good save. He got a little bit sideways. Yeah, Jim Whaley, fourth place. These guys uh, about five, a little over five seconds behind the leader right now. Len McNeese is dropping down to 1.4 seconds. Here comes Whaley on a hoe. They're drag racing down the back stretch. That's for third, Rudy. Yeah, they're still racing it up. Oh, it's gonna, looks like he's going to hold them off for the time being. But, boy, I'm going to tell you, Whaley is all over him. He's got to force him up a little bit because uh, you don't want to be in that bottom lane when you're trying to make a pass. So the more you can push the guy on the outside up in the turn, the better off you're going to be. That's some pretty good racing right there. Kern and Church got put a quite a bit of distance on Shane Gross. Shane way back her sixth place. He think he's just riding right now. He, he probably knows maybe he doesn't have the truck to be up there for the win, but he's just trying to stay in that top ten to maintain them points. That's what you call looking at the big picture, Scott. Yeah, it's going to be a good points night. And we heard him talk about that at the end of last week, that he was just looking at the big picture. So he'll be tickled tonight that, uh, you know, second place didn't show up, third place was out of the race early. A lot of ground to be gained for Shane Gross. Well, it looks like Randy Purdue on the inside of Gary Shank. And he is going to complete the pass on Gary. So that puts Gary back to ninth. We're less than 30 to go, Rudy. This race is coming to the closing laps. Charles Smith just riding along back here in the top 10. The Ricky Bobby machine, as Eric put it. I did not know that. <laughs> but thank you for sharing that with me there, Eric, because I didn't know that. Kolchuk still trying to get there, but he is uh, he's just far enough back of Charles Smith. He can't quite reel him in. Now Charles Smith to the inside of Gary Shank, and that is for position. That will put Gary back to 10th. 
And a Ho and Whaley are still battling side by side, Rudy. Whaley's still trying to get by him for third place. A Ho way up the track, go through one and two, and I think Whaley's going to get by him this time, and he will. Jim Whaley into third. A Ho's going to fight back oh. on the outside. He wants the position back. Yeah, this, that is not over yet. I think Whaley's got him now. Yeah, yep. he cleared him now. Wow, good racing. So Curtis, uh, Curtis Aho putting on a good show out there tonight for his debut here at GAC. He's got front end damage too, so he's definitely holding his own for having front end damage. Well, I have 25 to go at the line. And look at the cars that our leader is coming up on. We got John Estes here. Look at the cars that he's coming up on to put a lap down. Yeah, this could cause problems. Yeah, it could. He's, he's going to struggle to get by him unless they uh, just kind of let him go. And that's uh, that could let uh, Len McNeese catch up to him because Len's starting to close that gap down just a little. Len's dealing with getting by some lap cars back here too, but let's uh, stay up here. Looks like a lot of guys are getting out of the way and letting uh, the leader go, which is uh, very respectful. No sense in racing the leader like that. I know you want to stay on the lead lap and everything, but you, know, you don't want to cause that leader to possibly lose the lead. Oh. He gets by John Stanley. The next one will be Michael Campbell. Michael goes way down below the yellow line, and he's coming to pit road. This will be his final pit stop. And boy, look at him. He is... David Gainforth is the next one the leader will catch. Leader's not that far behind him. We had a lot of guys come to pit road on that one. Uh, definitely going to have to make one more pit stop. Uh, pit stop, if I'm understanding correctly, right? That's what I was sitting here wondering, but. I would have thought they would have already made it if they were going to have to make another pit stop. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Well, we'll have to see here. I know they're only running... <laughs> so, excuse me, 75% fuel. Yeah. We're going to be 20 to go this time by when the leader takes uh, the line, and there it is, 20 to go. I guess instead of sitting here and guessing, we'll find out if he comes down the road if... Oh, Jim Whaley's car. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that is a sharp-looking car. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer view. There you go. Hot Wheels. That's old school right there, Scott. He's battling Len McNeese right now. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong truck. Jim Locking, Randy Purdue. There's a gaggle of trucks back here. Charles Smith. These guys, yeah, semi-close together. But uh, Randy Purdue looking to maybe get by Jim Locking. He takes a look on the inside. Randy just, he's, he's there, but he just can't complete the pass just yet. Jim Locking's giving him a tough time, and it looks like he Same. did complete it. Same thing for Kern and Church up here, Rudy. He's trying to move into fourth place. He just can't get by. Yep. Really struggling here to try to get by Curtis Aho, and it looks like he did do it there. Oh, and I seen a little smoke coming off the number four of Timothy Keller. Oh, look at that. Curtis Aho come right back around Kern and Church. The old crossover maneuver. See if he can make it work. Kernan, uh, yeah, Wayne got, Feldman right behind him, but he's in 19th position. Yeah, he's way back. And it looks like Curtis might have finally just gave up on Kernan Church. Kernan was, uh, he had a pretty good run there off of uh, turn two and actually pulled right away from uh, Curtis Aho. 
Shane Gross, our points leader, sixth place. Riding right behind Jeff Dotson now. Jeff back in 20th. He had a good run earlier and did lead eight laps. Stayed out there on them old tires maybe just a little bit too long, you think, Scott? Definitely. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Current church almost up into the wall. Whaley back here, third place. What a ways behind Len McNeese. Len's in second, but he's 5.4 seconds behind Dustin Golden. Well, I'm thinking we're going to be interviewing Dustin Golden as our winner again this week, Scott. What do you think? Definitely looking that way, Rudy. Looks like the row. But it ain't over till the fat lady sings, so. She's warming up. She's warming up, yep. Doing a little voice training right now, getting ready. Golden, putting on a good show out here, showing these guys he's got the truck here tonight at Iowa. I'll let you talk to him. How's that? I'll take second place, and you can take third. You do a good job on the interviews. How about, how about I take second place? Okay. You want me to take first and third? Yes, sir. Oh, man, you do such a good job on the interviews. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Kernan Church, fourth. Curtis Aho trying to hang on to fifth place. Quite a way back to Shane Grosso, so he's not in any threat. But Randy Perdue falling back off of Shane Gross now. Jim Locking, eighth place. Brett Lay, the new guy, right up here in ninth. And if you remember earlier, Scott, he was way back in the field, and here he is in the top ten. And not too bad in his debut race. Yeah, he's turning up the heat here at the late running. Nine laps to go. McCulchuck gets around I Charles they, Smith. Like they say, Rudy, it doesn't matter where you start or where you ride in the first half of the race. It's where you finish. That's right. Johnny McCulchuck just drove around Charles Smith right there. So Johnny in the top ten at the moment. He's in the CFOffRoad.com truck tonight, newly painted. Uh, he was telling, tell him, sent me a message earlier about it that he had uh, painted up a brand new paint scheme here for CF Off Road. Check him out, folks. CFOffRoad.com. David Gainforth. Boy, he's got a lot of damage, but I'll tell you what a comeback, Scott. 12th place. Yeah, not too bad. He's had a heavily damaged truck most of the night, so he's just trying to bring home the best finish he can get here tonight. He's one lap down, but phew, doesn't matter. As long as you got that, it's the position you finish. Mark McFadden, 13th. Rob Mitt Whitmore, another uh, newcomer to the league here, running in 14th. Does he get around uh, Gary Shank? Gary goes back to 15th. John Stanley, 16th. Michael Palmer, 17th. John Estes, 18th. Wayne Feldman, 19th. And Jeff Dotson still hanging on to the top 20 here, and he is in one heck of a pack of trucks right here. Well, even though it didn't work out for Jeff, excuse me, even though it didn't work out for Jeff tonight, he still did a great job early on in the race, maintaining the second place and first place the way he did on them old tires for as long as he did. Definitely, definitely. So well, it may not have worked out, but he still put on a good show early on. Look at this pass for second place. Jim Whaley going around Len McNeese. He gets him at the line, but he hasn't completed the pass. Len fights. Boy, he drove it in there hard. And he might have drove it in there a little bit too hard, maybe. He's fighting back, getting that run. Whaley and him still side by side. That's for second place, folks. Three laps to go. Whaley's got him at the line again. 
This is where Len McNeese really drove it in uh, to turn one pretty hard, but I don't think it's going to work for him that time. It. He did again. Cost him. Yes, it did. I'm not sure what happened to Kernan Church. Did he just blink out or something? He manually disconnected. He's out of the race. Oh, no. Well, that Running puts fourth. Randy Perdue in fourth. Curtis Aho fifth. Jim Locking uh, six, two to go. Let's get up here on our leader. A power failure or something for Kernan Church. I seriously doubt he would manually disconnect with so few laps left. Yeah, and running in <laughs> in the top ten. Wow. He was in fourth place when that happened. That had to be a power failure or something. Well, with the lead in 101 laps tonight, Dustin Golden about to bring it to uh, the checkered flag here. At Iowa tonight for GAC, congratulations to Dustin Golden. He dominated here tonight. Yes, he did. Led 101 laps. That's Man, that's amazing. Anytime he found himself back in the middle of the field, he just drove back up through the field like it was nothing and found himself back at the front within five to ten laps each time. Great job here tonight for the 47. Two in a row, buddy. Well, uh, he is in team speak, I believe. Wasn't he? No, I don't think he comes in team speak. Okay, well we'll get him. We'll get him on the track here. Just give me a second. Alrighty. We have to move the guys in here, Rudy. I don't have permissions. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Jim, what? Jim Whaley and Len McNeese. Is, yes, uh, sir. Jim, yeah, he's in here. Okay, we'll drag him down and Len McNeese. Find Len. There he is. Uh oh, what happened to him? There we go. Okay. All right. Well, give me a second, guys. I'll get with uh, our winner out here on the track. Remember, they clear the track. Dustin Golden, you got a copy? Uh, well, Annette. Somebody's. Uh, well, another dominating performance again this week, Dustin. Congrats on your win. Tell me about your racing tonight. Yeah, that's a pretty good setup. I don't know if that's a normal setup, but uh, yeah, it was pretty good from lap one to, to the end. I just kept the tires under me and tried to keep it straight. Well, you did a good job. You, you stayed uh, up there in the front most of the race, but a couple times there you got kind of mired back in the field. Uh, the one time there we seen you come to pit road and everybody else stayed out. Uh, we, what did you think about that? Did you think, oh, boy, did I make a mistake or what? No, I was just want to see what they'd do in traffic. Uh, so I was going to get back there far as I could and see what their tires would do in traffic. Well, it looked like everybody gave you lots of respect out there on the track, and, uh, you know, the lap cars got out of the way and let you go by. So uh, you bring it to Victory Lane here tonight at Iowa. Is Iowa one of your favorite tracks? Um, I don't uh, dislike it, but it's not my favorite. All right, well, anyhow, go celebrate, brother. We'll let you get back to your celebration and uh, burn the tires down, whatever you want to do. And uh, congratulations on your win. But anybody you want to thank tonight before we get out of here? Oh, just everybody here on my race. All right, Dustin, thanks for talking with us. And again, congratulations on a great victory here tonight. All right, Scott, you got second place. Yes, sir. Mr. Jim Whaley, you got a copy? Jim? Well, is he not going to answer? Jim Whaley, you got a copy? Um, I don't have that open in there. You want to interview him on the track? <laughs> I don't know. Well, we're waiting to see what they're going to do here. If we're going to interview him or not, I don't know.
Rudy, you got the Zoom channel open? No. I said that. You want me to open it? Do you want me to open it? Can you hear me, Jim? I was talking to him there in the game room. Jim, you got a copy? I know, but I got to open the mic in there, and I haven't done that yet. Go ahead and open it, Rudy. Okay. Speak. Okay, got it. Jim, this is Scott Brenton up here in the broadcast booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. All right, sorry about that, buddy. There was some confusion <laughs> Everybody doing this interview. But uh, it's your best finish of the season, buddy. Your first top five of the season. How are you feeling right now? Uh, it just stinks that I got mired in so much traffic so many times. I think I passed about 60 trucks. Yeah, but all in all, you brought it home second tonight. That's got to feel pretty good. Dustin was pretty tough up there, man. You would have had your hands full getting by him. Uh, every time he got marred back in the field, and, you know, he just drove through the field like it was nothing and off to set sail. Uh, you can't feel too bad about second tonight. You were the second best truck here tonight. That's got to feel pretty good all in all after the season that you've had. Yeah, I haven't been able to catch a break at all. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's good, but I wanted to put this Hot Wheels Tundra up on the on the line in the flag, but oh well. Are you gonna be at Auto Club next week? What's the plan if you're gonna be? Uh, go fast, crank it hard left, and hammer down again. Ten four, buddy. Are we gonna see you on a every week basis once next season begins? Yeah, for the most part, I had to miss Martinsville, uh, but the schedule looks like it'll be all right, and sponsors come through, so I think we'll be good. All right, good to hear that. You got anybody you want to thank here tonight for this second place finish here in Iowa? Uh, just GAC and uh, Max Speed TV and my wife, Christina. Thankfully, she's not here to uh, disturb me like at Watkins Glen. All right, buddy. Well, sorry about the confusion there at the beginning of the interview, and I uh, hope you can at least enjoy it a little bit tonight, buddy. You did a good job bringing home second. Good job, man. We'll see you at Auto Club. Thanks. You too. Ready? All right. Oh, we got Len McNeese in the booth with us here, if he can talk in the booth. Len, are you there? I got you, Rudy. All right. Well, third place tonight, Len. Uh, you got a taste of what it was like up front. You led three la or five laps tonight, uh, and you kept it for a podium finish here. So tell me about your racing and, and how the tires fell off there toward the end. Oh, it was a fight. I tell you, I'm tickled just to run third right tonight. The way this thing was going, kept having some bad luck at the early, and Dustin and I put on a good race there side by side for a few laps. And, yeah, well, I think I got into the lap traffic there. I did my right front up there, and it slowed it down, burnt the tires off, and wasn't able to be there at the end like I wanted to. Well, you and Jim Whaley battling it up there uh, in them closing laps, that looked like a, a pretty good time. Uh, boy, you got such great runs off of that outside, and he was really struggling to try to get by you. So tell me about that a little bit. Oh, yeah. He, he, I seen him coming. I knew he was a little faster than I was. Like I said, I'd already damaged my right front in traffic, and it slowed it down once it done that and wasn't as fast down the straightways. But uh, I seen him. I was hoping, hoping I could have stayed in front of him for another five laps, but he was too fast and got me there at the end. Well, great job out there tonight. Anyhow, Len, boy, I'll tell you what, you've really been uh, progressing here in the league quite a bit and doing a great job. So uh, definitely you know, podium finish tonight's got to feel really good. So congratulations to you for that. Anybody you want to thank tonight? Oh, yes, sir. I'm tickled with third. I'll take it. And, uh, yes, Dean at GAC and, you know, you guys up there at Max Speed, you and Scott there, and doing all the good work you all are doing. And, uh, just, uh, you know, a lot of fun out here tonight. A lot of good guys starting to come together on this tonight, on Monday night racing, and a lot of fun. Yep. What would you think of the new guys uh, coming in there and doing a really good uh, job tonight? Curtis Aho, uh, uh, Rob Wetmore, uh, or what was his name? I, I forget now. 
Yeah, um, I'm glad to see some of the new guys coming in and doing well. I mean, that's, you know, that's that's good to have some good, you know, quality racers showing yeah. up and uh, making it a lot more fun. Yeah, uh, Brett Lay, Rob Whitmore, yeah, them guys, they ran really good. Curtis Aho, I mean, great job by them guys. It's good to see them out there racing it up with you guys. But, uh, all right, well, congrats, Lynn, and thanks for talking with us, buddy, and we'll catch up with you here in a little bit. All right, Rudy, thanks for you and Scott up there, and appreciate everybody watching. All right. All right, Scott, let's run down through the results here, buddy. Down four. All right, Dustin Golden coming home, our winner. Jim Whaley in second. Len McNeese third. Randy Perdue fourth. Jim Locking fifth. Shane Gross uh, maintaining a good finish here. That should help him in the points quite a bit, Scott. Uh, he did finish a lap down, though. Only five trucks on the lead lap. Wow. <laughs> Dustin was really putting them down. Uh, Brent Lay in... Uh, in seventh place, Johnny McCulchuck finishing eighth, David Gain fourth, ninth, and Rob Wetmore tenth. Scott? Uh, Mark McFadden finishes 11th. Curtis Aho finishes 12th. How about that, Rudy? All three new guys finish in the top 12 tonight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Michael Palmer finishes 13th. Smith 14th. Gary Shank 15th. John Stanley 16th. John Estes 17th. Wayne Feldman 18th. Michael Campbell 19th. And Kernan Church mysteriously disconnected there with uh, three laps to go. And he finishes 20th. Ready? Jeff Dotson 21st. Dean Viney 22nd. Randy Bledsoe 23rd. Mark Koshik in uh, 24th. Timothy Kelleher 25th. Tom Clayton Having a big wreck there, and uh, he disconnected too, finishing 26th. The lineman Vanderweg in 27th, and Kevin Cornelius, uh, one of the fastest guys in practice, uh, not having a good night here, finishes 28th on the field. I guess when the old bat phone rings, you got to go, huh, Rudy? I guess so. Well, again, congrats, so. congratulations to our winner here tonight. Thank you all for tuning in here to watch uh, us on Max B TV. Appreciate it. Thanks to iRacing for uh, all that they do to get this up on the live portal. We appreciate that. And a uh, special thanks to Jack Davidson for all the behind-the-scenes stuff that, uh, that he does to make this happen. So, again, thanks for watching, folks. Till tomorrow night. We'll be, or I'm sorry, we won't be back till Thursday night. Excuse me, Thursday night. We'll see you then. Till then, have a good night and stay safe. Have a good night, everybody. Welcome. At Chris Fitzpatrick Off-Road, we offer the best in new and used Jeep Wrangler, CJ7, YJ, and TJ parts. Our rates are competitive with no hidden fees. We'll give you the attention and personal service you come to expect and enjoy. Our employees are friendly and will be there to help you every step of the way. Please call or text us at 810-650-3206. Or visit us at www.cfoffroad.com.